The Richmond Police Department, when selecting uh, equipment for the new reconstruction unit, we looked at a lot of different technology out there, and there is a lot of technology out there, but we were looking for a company that would back us up really well on the forensic side. To be honest, when dealing with purchasing equipment in the police world, sometimes the best people to talk with are cops. Uh, just sometimes there's a level of understanding there that you just can't get unless, unless you're in it, unless you've processed a crime scene or tried to lift latent fingerprints or scan something in the middle of the night in the rain or in the snow. So we were presented with an opportunity to have a, uh, a 3D total station, a robotic 3D total station demoed to us. And it was by a law enforcement liaison through a company that came and set it up and showed us exactly what it could do and offered us a trade in value on the equipment we had at the time. And it was a great deal and it was the direction that we knew we wanted to go. We knew that we wanted the, the 3D scanning equipment. We chose that as, as an option because we also wanted the longevity and the progression that was promised to us when we purchased it. It wasn't a dead-end product. It was going to progress. The software was going to be updated. The, the hardware was going to be up. The instruments were going to continue to be updated as times progressed because everybody has that NCIS or that, you know, that TV show understanding of what futuristic crime scene reconstruction looks where robots come in and scan and recreate and you can walk through and manipulate. And the closest we are to that in present day that is real evidence presentation is robotic 3D scanning of crime scenes, collision scenes, pretty much anything that you want to document.